There are plenty of new innovative products coming out in the fly tying world. One are the hooks. Now these new hooks from Partridge are just awesome for tying extended bodies and that's what we're going to tie today is an extended body mayfly. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook we're going to use a size 14 Partridge K10. We'll use some UTC 70 black thread, some black deer hair for the tail. For the rib we'll use some small yellow Fantex, some olive saliska dubbing for the body, a black hackle for the wings, and some barred done hackle for the hackle. The big difference in tying this fly is you have to start off by putting the hook in backwards. So what I'm doing is putting the tip or the eyelet of my hook in the vise to start and clamping it so I can tie now onto the extended body. We'll take our thread now and tie it onto the extended body of the hook. And I also like to take a few wraps just around the body and then back to get a good base layer of thread built on. I've taken some deer hair and stacked it and I've cut it the length of the extended body, the metal part of the extended body hook and added about double. So it's about double the length of the extended body. And we're just going to tie it in for the tail and this will help build up a bit of the body also. I now have the extended body tied up to the length I want. I'm going to take some small yellow Fentex and we're going to tie this in and this will be used for the ribbing later. I'm now going to dub on some of my olive sauce dubbing and I want to keep it fairly thin through the tail and then I'll build it up a little bit bigger as we get down the body. And then we're slowly going to wind in this dubbing to form a nice tail and body on the fly. We'll take our yellow Fentex and we'll slowly wind in about five to six ribs on the fly because these green drakes do have some nice big yellow ribs on them. To finish the rest of the fly off, we have to remove the hook from the vise. So we're just going to take it out, turn it around, put it in the proper way by the hook bend, and tighten up your vise, and then we can continue to tie in the wings and the rest of the body. One thing to remember after you've turned the hook around in the vise is you have to whip finish your thread off, and you have to do a reverse whip finish because you've got to remember we've been tying opposite way, so you do a reverse whip. And that way, now you can start your thread going the right way again, so it won't be backwards. I'm going to take two hackles, two black hackles, and I'm going to trim them into wings. So what I've done is taken a bit of the, the barbs off the bottom. I'm going to take my scissors and just trim them round to form a wing. Just so it's a nice flared wing, just like that. We're going to take our wings, now that they've been shaped, and we're going to put them on right in, the, right in the center of the hook and tie them in for the wings. And remember, keep these wings nice and big because they are a green drake, and green drakes have really nice big tall wings. Now the wings are tied in, I'm actually going to separate them. I'm going to do a few figure eights between the wings, behind them and in front of them, just to keep them separated and nice and high. To fill in the body a little bit more, I'm going to take a little bit more of my dubbing right near the bend of the hook and just build up the body a bit at the back and up to the wings again. I've taken a bar done hackle and this will be tied in and we'll use this to tie in a hackle to imitate the legs a little later on. Just want to tie it in behind the wings. 
To finish off the body, I'm going to take some more of my olive dubbing and just dub it onto my thread and slowly wrap in a little bit more of my body in between the wings just to finish off the body. With a pair of hackle pliers, I'm now going to clamp on to my hackle and I'm just going to do a few wraps behind my wings and make a couple of wraps through the wings to make sure we get some legs through the wings and then a couple up front. The last step to the fly is take your whip finisher, do a few whip finishes at the head, and the fly is done. And there it is, the finished extended body mayfly. You know, these new partridge hooks really make it easy to tie flies like this. And the nice thing about this fly is the way it sits on the water, just like the natural.